Hello everyone, welcome back to this PYQ session. Again, a very important PYQ that has created a lot of buzz among students. All are done to remove confounding except randomization, stratification, matching, blinding. Please remember, it's very simple. Don't consider confounders as a bias. Okay, in certain books we do say that they mention confounding bias. But technically, the word blinding that is done to eliminate bias. It's not done to eliminate confounders. For confounders, we can have randomization, stratification, matching. But to eliminate bias, because bias is a systematic error, okay, which is being conducted when we are designing the study or when we are conducting the study, collecting the data, determining analysis, all those things. Okay? And blinding, we all know, is of three types. It can be subject single blinding where the subject is blind he does not know which group he's going into double blinding is where both subject and investigator and triple blinding is subject investigator analyzer all are blind but nowadays most common is double blinding because um, uh, the analyzer is only the inv investigator is only the analyzer these days so b for b blinding eliminates bias but if you have to see how techniques to eliminate confounders randomization is the most ideal method in that we have stratified because it eliminates both known and unknown confounders okay it eliminates both known as well as unknown confounders where do you do matching it is done only in case control study design it eliminates only known confounders then you have restriction like I know smoking is a confounder so I can restrict my study to only the non-smokers stratification and when we have various confounders in a study we use regression model multivariate analysis remember blinding for bias confounders ke liye most important that you'll get in your exams is randomization and matching matching is only done for case control thank you so much